So we came all the way to the Eiffel Tower and it turns out it's closed today. Um, there's an event or something, I, I don't know. But anyways, that means we'll have to come back. We specifically wanted to come today because that because on the website it said that today was like not peak hours. But turns out <sighs> we're gonna have to wait that long queue. So uh, I'm gonna give you one last look of the Eiffel Tower. One last look, I promise. Can't promise that actually. We're coming back another day, so probably tomorrow. No, we might not even be coming tomorrow because there's apparently a, a soccer or if if you're a British football event. I think it's football. If I'm not, I think it's a football event anyway because because there there um you can't see it now but there there, there is a giant football up there or soccer ball for you, for all my Canadian friends. So anyway, it's this is what's happening. And uh, we don't know what we're gonna do now, so I guess we'll walk and discuss it. But wh wherever we go, I'll let you know. So, let's, come on, let's go. We're here at the Louvre. Uh, unfortunately, it is closed because there were some flooding, flooding issues. I didn't read the article. There, it's closed because of flooding. Let's just, let's just call it that. But uh, let's... still very nice outside here and hopefully they reopen soon. It won't reopen during uh, whenever our trip, when our trip, by the time our trip ends, it's not gonna reopen, but uh, it's just unfortunate for him because he hasn't gone inside yet. So. Oh well, that's probably most of the trip, I think. I, it's around six now, so by the time, I don't know what we'll do for dinner. Probably get dinner. Dinner, and then probably crash after. Because we don't really know where else to go. We'll have to find the addresses for somewhere. The world needs more heroes. So yeah, basically. <laughs> so uh, we plan to go to the zoo tomorrow. Uh, maybe the chocolate museum, depending on where it is, and other places. Not the Eiffel Tower tomorrow. But see how the foundation of LV was it? Something like that. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. So this is probably the last one for tomorrow. So until until tomorrow, see you then. Today's day three. And we just found out that the loop will actually open a couple days ago. Uh, the flooding wasn't too bad. I think mean, it happened last week, so they were able to fix that properly. So that's where we're going first. And... <laughs> yeah, we're going there first, and then afterwards we'll probably head to a chocolate museum. We'll plan to head to the zoo. And um, there was one other place. No, we might be going to the Apple Tower tonight too. Today's gonna be really busy with the football match and everything, but um, yeah, you know, it, it was pre it's predicted to rain tomorrow, so we don't really want to go if if it rains. So that's basically uh, the start of the day. Uh, as you can see, we're still in the metro we're in the metro station again, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll see you see everyone back when we arrive at the Louvre. We're in the Louvre. See a lot of people. And it's real, what's really cool is that, I don't know if you can see that, but in the, in the back, in the back, the, the audio guides are Nintendo 3DS XLs, which is really neat actually, so I think, I was thinking about getting one, but I thought, nah, they're three euros, whatever, I don't know how long we're staying here, so uh, we're about to go visit the Mona Lisa first, and from there, we'll see the rest of the next bit, so uh, stay tuned for that. So many people here. People are paying less attention to it though. This 
one in particular looks quite lifelike. This one, her eyes protrude out. Kind of creepy. Just finished the Louvre Museum. What do you think? Uh, it was pretty awesome. Got to see some awesome statues. There's a lot angels. in the Louvre Museum. You have to spend probably more than three hours just to look at almost yeah. everything. We looked at the stuff we kind of wanted to see, and then just and now it's yeah, exactly. And now <laughs> now it's one, which means uh, we, well, we had breakfast today, so we're not too hungry. But now we. When we will eat when we get to the zoo, which is our next stop, by the way. The and hopefully we make it there. And so, probably takes like I don't know how long it'll take for us to go through, but after that we'll see if we have time for the chocolate museum. We probably will actually. I don't think the zoo will take more more than two hours at the very least. But yep. So that's the plan, and we will be going there when the train arrives. Hey, Whenever train. that is. At the zoo. So come along with me and we'll go see the animals together. We let some of the animals roam around in here, which is really cool. <clears throat> what? Stingray. Oh. Can't really see that from here, but it's there. Just another bird crossing the road. <laughs> Drank some water. Alright. Gonna move on through this jungle. <laughs> a lot of kids here today. Like they were. Oh. Let's move on to a place less crowded.
animals know when the animals are hungry, like when to feed them? I think they have a set time. Oh, that's the set. In case you're hungry, you go for an afternoon snack, and these guys have no afternoon snack. <laughs> I can zoom in while recording. Oh, that was sick. I did not realize that. <laughs> Although in retrospect, that really makes sense. Yeah. Just <laughs> jump on the rock. Huh? Nope. That one wants to jump on the rock. <laughs> no, nice. he's getting blocked. We get blocked. Did you? Eh? Eh? I'll show myself out. Oh! Whoa! Oh! oh. Got kicked out. Got a gun camera? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, good considering. The other one. Oh, okay. So we just finished the zoo, and it was a pretty good zoo. We spent $16.50 because uh, we are youth and we get a discount. <laughs> no, we spent $16.50 on the time. Sure, but anyways, that was a good zoo. Took us around three hours to complete. And uh, there was a, quite a wide variety of animals and all of the spaces are, are quite spacious. The, all the habitats are quite spacious, so the animals have quite, quite a lot of room to move around in. Make penguins great again. They have a penguin next to it. It was alright. So, now we are heading back to the metro station. Uh, which way? Well, we... that way, right? Yeah. yeah that so... Way. As we see your famous golden statue. Right. So, going back to the metro station, probably heading to the Chocolate Museum next. It's around 4.43 as I'm recording this right now. And, yeah, hopefully we can taste some chocolates when we're there. It might take a while. Anyways, all of you get to skip the the waiting part so it's no big deal so we'll see you guys later so as you can see we're back in the hotel room uh, the chocolate museum was actually closed they closed their doors at five o'clock even though it says six so that you know they can they don't you know, have to like chase people and whatnot oh uh, so after that we just met one of Ern's friends and then we went to a nice French restaurant and uh, we all got the veal special, which, and the veal was mm, really good. Shout out to Remy for the good food! Yes, uh... What was I about to say? Yes, there, there was, like, it was like veal, cheese, mushroom, ham, mm, and, okay. and potatoes. <laughs> yeah, Ex just, just excellent stuff. It was... Uh, it's not far, too far away from Notre Dame, actually, so... Yeah, I, I just wish I remembered the name. I don't I don't really remember off the top of my head. Chef Gus Chef Gus something. Sure. Anyways. Uh we were too tired after to go to the Eiffel Tower, so we just decided we're we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. Also because we we wanted to get a night scene, but the fact that Paris is still bright at nine o'clock pretty much means that it's gonna be close to impossible to get night night scene there unless we want to go there quite late so anything else i want to say yeah so we'll instead we're going to eiffel tower tomorrow we're going to the chocolate museum tomorrow and we'll probably visit the out, uh, outlet mall too and find a hard rock cafe which this guy needs to find the address for i will do that eventually yep so those those four places might we might end the day early tomorrow just because there's nothing else that we really want to see that much and yeah that's about it so uh i'm about to take a shower and go to sleep so we will s meet you all back here tomorrow for some more fun stuff good night i don't usually see ducks at the zoo when i do look at that booty